Hey, what's going on guys? Mike from the Rotch Electors. And today we're doing another pickup video, a year-end pickup video, something that I've gotten from Boxing Day and on Christmas. And if you're unfamiliar and you live in the States, what Boxing Day is, Boxing Day is our version of Black Friday. The last couple of years, we've had the ability to have Black Friday. A lot of stores have Black Friday deals. But when I was a kid, there was no such thing as Black Friday. Black Friday was only something you could drive to the States hit the border and buy stuff to your heart's content as long as you're able to bring it back over the border. So in its place, we had Boxing Day, a day right after Christmas, December 26th, where we can go out to the stores and get unbelievable deals of stuff that we didn't get for Christmas. Fortunately enough, over the last five, probably five, 10 years, we've had both holidays. They haven't taken away Boxing Day and they gave us Black Friday, which is unbelievable. So basically in a month's time, we have two unbelievable shopping days to do some amazing deals in shopping, TVs and electronics and all sorts of stuff. But we're first start off with some Christmas gifts that my wife got me and I'm super happy because this chips away at my Dreamcast collection and I'm getting very close. I'm 59 away from a complete set. I'm not actively looking for it right now, but my wife was able to sneak these in and I was amazed when she wrapped it because I had no idea. I thought it was just music CDs to tell you the truth because I had no idea what was under the tree. She grabbed me Iron Aces, which is a flight simulator. It's like a dog fight. It's not the greatest game, but when you're going for a completion, this doesn't matter. Next up is Bang. It's a 3D action game where you can take your vessel and fly through the space and upgrade weapon, fight certain enemies, five different types of enemies and so many upgrades that you could play and actually really enjoy playing this game. So those are the two games that I got for the Dreamcast. Next, I went to EB Games and they had an amazing deal on Black Friday. I couldn't pass it off. I get the flyers on email and when I opened up the flyer, I saw a few games that I wanted and I'm like, okay, you know what? Maybe I can get there on time and grab what I needed to get. And luckily enough, when you spend $50 or more at EB Games and in the first, I think 50 customers, you get something for free. So you get either a pop figure, a pair of socks, or a Totaku. And I decided to go with the Master Chief Totaku, which was kind of weird. I I've always affiliated Totakus to PlayStation. I'm not sure if this is a, a PlayStation type thing, answer to the Amiibos, but if it is or isn't, it was kind of weird to see uh, Master Chief. They even had a, a Dom of Gears of War frame, and I, I saw this one and I I'm a Master Chief fan, so I had to pick this up. So this was a free pack-in, and I'm actually really, happy to have this and you know shelf padding in the back which is pretty cool next is a game that's a total xbox exclusive and when the game came out i didn't grab it right off the bat i just couldn't sink that much money into the game for a few hours of gameplay but when it dropped down to 59 bucks over here in this in canada 59 dollars is a steal of a deal when it comes to games most games are 79.99 and when they drop down to 59 or below you're better off just grabbing it then because it's it's a no-brainer. So Gears of War 5, I, as you can see, yet to play any of these games. I just picked them up and I'm looking forward to where the story leads you because when I played 4, I left a lot to be desired and I didn't know where the story is going right now. So hopefully this answers a bit of the questions that you have going from the original Gears series to 4 and hopefully this takes you a little bit deeper into the story. I'm, I'm assuming there's gonna be a cliffhanger ending to have a Gear 6. With that being said, I'm really looking forward to playing that. Next is an answer to my buddy Jimbo. He runs uh, Retro Game Lounge over on YouTube, hit up his channel and uh, I play with him regularly on Xbox. And he messaged me and he sent me a, a link where Walmart was having this game for like $9, super cheap. And I unfortunately told him that we don't have that, those type of deals. This game is typically always $79.99. I've never seen it drop until today. And that's Division 2. We were playing Gears 4 together and played through the campaign on that. We played a few other online games and you know, had, always had a blast, you know, talking amongst each other. We played the demo when it was free for, I think, a weekend and we had a blast. Playing through this was pretty fun. We didn't get very far. He kept on playing the online. He ended up actually buying it right away after the free demo or free weekend was done. I'm actually really happy to have this and play alongside a buddy because it you don't get much time to play alongside friends, especially nowadays being an adult, especially online. It's kind of hard now. It's normally just single player games and a little bit of Call of Duty that's sprinkled in. Being able to play with a friend over the holidays and over the next year, it's gonna be super, super fun. I'm looking forward to it, Jimbo. And last but not least, I posted a Twitter poll at Retrolectors, if you wanna follow me there, about four games that I wanted for the Nintendo Switch. Luigi's Mansion, Astral Chain, Pokemon, Sword or Shield, and Dragon Quest Builders. On this poll, 
some games took a landslide and some games I was actually really surprised they didn't get voted for. And I couldn't just pick one of the games and not have a reason for it. And like Luigi's Mansion was a game that I wanted right off the bat and I played the first and second and I still want it. But the going rate of the game was $79 and the other two games, Dragon Quest Builders and Pokemon Sword and Shield are still $79 as well. And me being super cheap and not wanting to spend full price for a game and overinflate that last bill when you're going to go pay for it, I had to pick up Astral Chain. It was $59 and I've heard nothing but good things. And actually on the poll, I believe it took the lead and is holding it there steadily. I'm looking forward to playing this. Right now I'm playing Shovel Knight and I'm playing King of Cards DLC. I'm nearly done, I'm on the final boss. Once I'm done that, I think I have no choice but to open this up. I just need a palette cleanser on the Switch, something totally different, something new, a new IP I've never heard of. And I was actually eyeing this for a while and so many people were talking about it online that I did a little bit of research on it. The gameplay looks so original and so cool to play. Well, those are my five games that I got as a gift or for Boxing Day. Please let me know in the comments below what was your favorite pickup or favorite grab or favorite gift over the holiday season. And let me know in the comments down below. Thanks guys.